Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. Today I'm looking at a book from Edward Elgar. It's an important book and it's one that I found fascinating. Um, we'll talk a little bit further about some of the people involved in a moment. The title of the book is a research handbook on secured financing in commercial transactions. A bit of a mouthful that. Secured financing in commercial transactions. So it's business and it's about money and it's about securing funding effectively. But we'll talk a bit more about what the book means in a moment. It's been edited by Frederic Dehaan. I hope I've pronounced the name correctly. It could be Dehaan, but uh, Frederic Dehaan. It's Edward Elgar Publishing Limited as the publishers and it's the Research Handbooks in Financial Law series uh, with the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development as uh, co-sponsors. Uh, the book's available as both a, a hardback book, which you'll look at in a minute, it's over there, and uh, also as an e-book. And you can get it electronically on the Elgar online site. Um, my wife Elizabeth and I have written this review, and for our review title of the work, we've given it this, a stimulating and diverse series of essays on secured financing law, which is of great help to the international financial community. And that's really what the book is about in our view. It's a hardback. It's, there you go, back spine, and then there's the back there. It's the front, sorry, and then there's the back there. It's a heavy-ish book. It runs to just over 500 pages. There's an index. Of course, it's an edited book, so it's got a lot of contributors. Uh, but you will see at the end of it that you've just got the, the index there. It's quite a substantial index. And if we go into the, the book itself, you've got, um, you've got quite a lot of footnotes in various different places. You do, for most of the contributions, have paragraph numbering, so it's easy to find, but the actual index itself is actually page numbers, as you can see there. The front of the book, there's the front page there, and then you've got, that's the series, Research Handbooks in Financial Law from Elgar, and then you've got the book itself. Elgar are an independent publishing family firm and they are very high quality publications and they're first class without any doubt. There's the detail about Elgar online should you need to look at this online. Then you've got the content section. Um, you've got various parts, parts one and two listed there, then part three there and then some figures, not too many. And then there is a list of tables. And then I want to just show you the contributors. There are a lot of them. I can't go through them individually, unfortunately, but I will show their names so you've got some idea of who they are. There we go, you can see them there, again there, and then we end up with the last page of Philip Wood at the back. And Philip Wood, who will be known to many of you, I've met him, he's a very, very nice guy, a uh, very intelligent man, Professor Wood. His Forward, which I have used as part of our review, is a first class forward explaining what this book is all about. Part one deals with secured transactions, law, economic impact and reform. Uh, we're dealing with, as I say, a very high level of discussion. You can see each of the chapters, is, it lists who the contributors are. The second part is secured finance, many facets and contents. And the final part is trends and perspectives for reform. So what we're looking at at the moment is a statement of where we are today and where we're going with this subject. Now, let me just go through the review because uh, when I looked at this, like probably many people, I thought, well, what is this about? Having met Professor Wood and read some of his books, um, I found I was in a different realm, a very high style of writing and uh, areas which I didn't have a lot of experience of. And I had to think very carefully about what some of the points were that people were were making before I fully understood or even partially understood some of the points in this sort of pretty rarefied area, if you like, of um, secured um, financing funding. But what we say is this, the author of this excellent research handbook is uh, Frederic uh, Dahan, who is currently the chief counsel at the European Bank for reconstruction and development. And Dahan, therefore, is one of the most qualified experts 
in this field, this legal field, to review the law and the practice relating to security um, interests. And that's really what this is about. We come straight away then to Professor Philip Wood, who contributes uh, what I think is an outstanding forward. Um, he's one of the most eminent commentators in this field today, and known, of course, to many of us for his excellent work and publications, many of which are published by um, Thomson Reuters. And Wood describes this collection of contributions as of exceptional value, and they are just that. Now, what Wood does is he gives five reasons, and with respect to him, I've, I've actually summarised his five points about why um, this book is important as a research handbook. And let me run through them. One, huge amounts are involved in security interests, which are often seen as unlocking capital for uh, beneficial development. And that's the first point that is, is looked at. The second point is the contributions in these essays discuss the rationale for security interests and the extent to which they can be justified. The third point is the handbook is truly international and comparative. And that's the main purpose of this. And obviously, the expert in that field is Professor Wood. Four, the law of security interests is in many countries fossilised, that's in his view, by ancient tradition and reveals dogmatic ideologies which are difficult to understand in relation to the modern financialized world. I think he made that word up, but that's what he's saying and you can see where he's coming from with that. And finally, he says, the contributors are exceptionally well informed and at the centre of both policy and the application of legal principles in the real world of law of actual flight, as Professor Wood um, concludes. I rather like that term, law in actual flight. In other words, it's, it's progressing as we talk. Now, those five reasons for the book, I think, are very fundamental. And if you are involved in this area, either as an academic researching it or in practice in some of the larger firms, um, it will be of direct relevance, I think, to you. Uh, what we've got here is a collection of essays, and Dahan is one of the 24 contributors, that is including Professor Wood, and he does illuminate many dark corners and shed needful light to show the way, as um, Professor Wood so eloquent expressed, uh, eloquently expresses it in his foreword, because that's exactly what the book does. It's the dark corners and sheds the needful light in in really difficult, difficult ways and gives you some help and assistance. It's rightly described as a cutting edge handbook and it gives an overview um, of the research and the thinking in the field of secured financing and it examine, uh, examines uh, international standards and best practices of secured transactions law reform and the, the last part is specifically on reform uh, and it also looks at the economic impact. And again, I think that's useful because this is actually an international book. We are talking about international finance, and that's exactly what it is. And it does cross the boundaries without, without any question. All the expert contributors have been brought together to explore the breadth and depth of the subject matter across what are many diverse sectors. And in addition, the essays illustrate the choices and trade-offs that policymakers face through a number of illuminating and highly relevant case studies. Again, that's of great help, I think, again, to the academic and the practitioner. Let me conclude by saying this is, again, one of the excellent uh, high-level books by Ed Edward Elgar. We do appreciate the um, investment in this area because otherwise we wouldn't have these works readily available. So thank you to Edward Elgar. Um, this is the research series on uh, financial law and what they've achieved here is a unique and wide-ranging examination of, of transactions reform across the planet and we think it will be a valuable resource with its groundbreaking research and we also think it will be of great assistance to law firms, banks, government and development agencies and researchers throughout the world. So thank you for producing it. These books, as I say, are high, high stand. There it is, hardback. About 500 pages, something like that. No, actually 450 pages, I think. No, 500 pages. And then there's the index at the back again. Just opening it in the middle. Um, 
Sharia in the secular legal context, a very important emerging area for some. You've got the footnoting there. There's a lot of detail footnoting here. This is, and again, you do have figure work as well. This is, a this is again a difficult area, the one I've just opened up. Uh, Sharia compliance is a very important area for all of us today. Um, you've got paragraph numbering there, again, to find things quite quickly. This is actually a potential of factoring for improving SME access to finance. I think we'd all be <laughs> very pleased to hear a bit more about that. And finally, just, just to go, there's the front again. And just to remind you, those are the parts. Parts one, two, and then three. Thank you to all concerned, though. I think this is a great contribution to financial law, certainly international aspects thereof, and I'm very grateful to have been able to uh, review it. Good luck to all of you, and thanks again to all concerned. Bye-bye.